So yeah, talking to Madeline, she is a front end developer for Media Current. She's done a lot of work uh, for us uh, with Drupal. And so Madeline, tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay, so at the time of this recording, I've been with Media Current for about a year and a half. I really love working with front end, but I really just love all aspects of web development in general. Um, I really like working with component-based development. I don't have a preference if it's with Pattern Lab or Storybook, or I just, I love the concept. And I live in Florida and have an awesome family. Nice. So yeah, you, you started primarily as a Drupal developer, right? And now you're doing Gatsby and React apps. Um, so you enjoy that doing as well, or are you still a big Drupal fan? Uh, Fun fact, uh, I actually very much started at the very beginning in Microsoft World Ooh, <laughs> and .NET, .NET? Oh, and wow. SharePoint and stuff like that. Um, and then I discovered Drupal and I fell in love. And um, now I'm adventuring more into React with Drupal and uh, Pattern Lab with Drupal. So kind of all over the place. Um, and I like it all. That's why I kind of said I like component-based development because it applies everything through everything I've learned, that principle stays the same and I can carry it where I need yeah. to. Yeah, I, I absolutely agree. Um, and Madeline is working on putting together a nice theming, Drupal's theming series. Uh, and this is mainly for people who are either just getting started or people who have been doing theming for a while, but maybe have not been exposed to the component-based theming approach, right? That's kind of what, what they should expect to see. Yeah, um, anybody like that that is um, like say you're a back-end developer and you really want to know more mm -hmm. about the theming side or say that you're just starting off with Drupal and you don't know what pattern, maybe you know, I, I remember being in a situation where I knew what Pattern Lab was and I was really excited about it, but I didn't know how to do it and get it set up because I was a solo developer and didn't have a team to talk to and work with. Um, so this is hopefully for those people um, that are trying to take it on and right. Maybe they're self-taught and they want to fill in the gaps. Yeah, it's, it's hard because you can find training out there and, you know, but sometimes you just find a, a tutorial here and there, uh, very disconnected, right? And this is a full series that will walk you from beginning to end on how to build uh, a theme and a site using Drupal. So if you've moved, you're moving from Drupal 7 to Drupal 8, this would be great because a whole different approach to the theming. And so I think it's going to be a great one and we're looking forward to that. So thanks for uh, working on this for us, Madeline. Oh, awesome. 